is the high output turbo diesel worth it in 2023 that is the engine that we have on our new f450 but the high output is a twelve thousand dollar option basically what it gives you is a water-cooled turbo and a different tune bringing the horsepower to 500 horsepower and the torque to 1200 foot pounds of torque is that worth it is it worth it over the standard output diesel engine which still gives you a thousand fifty foot pounds of torque this is a tough question it's kind of a conflicting topic because quick search online and they're saying well it's a water cooled turbo but really it's the tune is it really any benefit here to having a water cooled turbo kind of a tough question I'm gonna ask chat GPT and see what that comes up with so this is what chat GPT came up with Water-cooled turbochargers offer several advantages in diesel engines. Here are some of the key benefits. Improved cooling. Water cooling helps dis dissipate heat more efficiently than air cooling alone. The turbocharger operates at high temperatures and water cooling system helps to regulate and maintain optimum operating temperature, preventing overheating and potential damage to the turbocharger. Enhanced durability. The cooling effect provided by water cooling helps to increase the durability and longevity of the turbocharger by keeping the operating temperatures within a suitable range the components are less prone to thermal stress and wear resulting in improved reliability increased efficiency by maintaining lower temperatures water cool turbos reduce the risk of heat soak which occurs when hot air from the turbocharger transfers to other nearby engine components such as the intake manifold or intercooler this can lead to a decrease in air density of the intake air causing a drop in engine performance water cooling helps to mitigate this issue allowing the engine to operate more efficiently faster response water cooling helps to reduce the turbo lag which is the delay in power delivery experience when the engine is operating at low rpms by regulating temperature effectively water cooled turbos can minimize the time required for turbocharging to spool up and provide boost pressure resulting in quicker throttle response improved combustion lowering the temperature of the Compressed air delivered by the turbocharger can reduce the risk of pre-ignition and detonation in the combustion chamber. Water cooling assists in cooling the compressed air before it enters the engine, promoting better com combustion and potentially reducing the likelihood of engine knock. Overall, water cooled turbos provide better heat management, increased durability, improved engine efficiency, faster response, and enhanced combustion characteristics in diesel engines. These advantages contribute to the performance and reliability and potentially even the fuel economy. So we couldn't ask ChatGPT about the specific characteristics of the high output that came out in 2023, but we could ask about water-cooled turbos. ChatGPT is a little bit limited on new technology and new events in the world. I think its knowledge is cut off in like 2020. So water-cooled turbos did exist in 2020, so we could ask specifically about water-cooled turbos. So what we found is that water-cooled turbos do have a significant effect on performance. So far, I mean, seems pretty similar to what was going out. But as I own this a little bit longer, it does seem to wake up. I only have 450 miles on the truck as it sits right now and it definitely has started to seem as if it's getting a little bit faster but definitely just a interesting topic the high output we do have new emissions underneath the truck there's another component added on top of a bigger DPF I'm not sure if it's drawing more power at all if any but I can see or I can tell that the regions are a lot less noticeable. Uh, it doesn't seem to need to be at 100% anymore to do a region. So maybe it's going to be a better experience with this new emission system that is on the truck. Time will tell. But anyway, guys, just a quick video today. Here's a quick look at the truck. It is a Lariat, not a Lariat Ultimate, but a Lariat 
pretty well equipped leather interior big screen there's gonna be tons of videos on this truck in the next coming weeks but anyway guys my name is sean this is ds trucks see you guys in the next one over and out